Hi children, today you are going to learn 6th class, 5th chapter that is measures of lines and angles in the exercise number 5.2. So in the 5.2, the first bit question is that write the true or false and correct the all the all those that are false. That means we have to correct which are the false statements. The first one is that so if there is a false statement, I will write the correct statement only. If there is a true statement, I don't write it. An angle smaller than right angle is known as acute angle. Yes, the smaller than right angle angle is known as an acute angle only. It is the correct statement. So you need not to write again what is correct. Okay, right angle measures 180 degrees in the sense. The second one, right angle measures 180 degrees. So it is a wrong answer. So a right angle measures 90 degrees. Right angle measures 90 degrees. That is the correct statement. Then third one. Okay. Then the second one is a false statement. So the correct statement is that the right angle measures 90 degrees. A straight angle measures 90 degrees. So third one is a false statement actually. Okay. Third one is a false. The so correct statement is that a straight angle measures 180 degrees okay the measure of the measures of greater than 180 degrees is known as a reflex angle yes okay the measure of greater than 180 degrees is known as a reflex angle but the condition is that below 360 degrees okay it is a true statement only a complete angle measures 360 degrees Yes, a complete angle measures 360 degrees. So these are what? Here these two statements are false. So I have written a correct statements. The second one statement and third one statement which is given in the question that is wrong. So I have written a correct statement for the second and third one. So we go for the second bit now. Here angle 1, angle 2, angle 3 and angle 4. This is the second position solution and the 5.2. See that? Which angles are adjacent in the figure are acute and which are obtuse? Check your estimation by measuring them. Write their measures too. So here which are the angles are acute angle and which are the angles are obtuse angles. So here acute angles are angle 1 and here angle 3 ok acute angles are angle 1 and angle 3 we have to measure those angles also here next obtuse angles are the remaining two what angle 2 and and angle 4. We have to measure them by using protractor. Okay. Here, let me take a protractor here and measure the angle 1. So, I got angle 1 is a 60 degrees. And angle 3 also will get 60 degrees. So, sum of these two angles will get 180. So, angle 2 equal to 120 degrees and angle 4 also will be equal to 120 degrees. If you measure exactly, you will get 120 degrees only. Yes. So, with this our second question is also right completed. Then the third one. See that. Write the measures of these angles. Which is the great uh, largest angle? Draw the angle and longer than largest angle. Okay. What is the measure of this angle? So here they have given a three pictures in the question. Here they have given a three pictures here. One, two, three. We have to measure them. If you measure these three pictures with a protractor, you will get the first one is a 60 degrees. The second one you will get 
120 degrees. The third one is 90 degrees. You will get. If you use a protractor, you will get that answers. So you have to write, draw a largest than longest, uh, largest than longer angle. Here longer angle is the bigger angle is 120 degrees. We have to draw a more than 120 angle. See that this angle will be now more than 120 angle. Approximately I have drawn it. Yes, this angle is now 126 degrees. Whatever. Suppose this is a O and A and B. So angle AOB is equal to 126 degrees I have drawn. You can draw by your own wish. More than 120 degrees any angle you can draw it here. So that is one. Third one. So next, fourth bit is that write the type of angle formed between the long hand and short hand of a clock at the given timings. So there are timings are given here. So at 9 o'clock in the morning, at 9 o'clock, in the morning, 9 o'clock in the morning, what is the angle? Let's see here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, 9 o'clock, this will be a 90 degrees. So, it is a right angle. Right angle that is 90 degrees. So, the second one at 6 o'clock. In the evening, at 6 o'clock in the evening, we will draw a clock once 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 6 o'clock, it is a 180 degrees, it is a straight angle. Straight angle will give us 180 degrees. So next, at 12 noon, 12 noon, in the sense 12 o'clock in the afternoon, 12. So, longer angle and shorter angle. So, at 12 noon, the angle will be equal to 0. So it is a 0 degrees, 0 and measure with 0 degrees and next at 8 o'clock in the night, yet 8 o'clock in the night, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So this will be you have to take it. Okay. Then it is a obtuse angle. The obtuse angle is more than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees. Here obtuse angle is more than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees. These angles are obtuse angles. Next, the last one and fifth one. So, this is the fifth one actually. So, here it will be a fourth one. At 4 o'clock in the afternoon. 4 o'clock in the afternoon so we will draw a class 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 4 o'clock ok so here it is sorry here it is not a few angle it is a reflex angle it is a reflex angle 
reflex angle. This is more than 180 degrees and less than 360 degrees. So here it is obtuse angle. The obtuse angle here just now I said obtuse angle is less than 180 degrees and more than 90 degrees. So here you should not confuse. Here till here is straight angle, straight angle after reflex angle. The fifth one is reflex angle. The fourth one is obtuse angle. Here is right angle, more than right angle is obtuse angle. So this is a bit number four. So draw the clap neatly by taking a compass, draw the circle and locate the numbers and draw the clacks and show the timings exactly as given in the question. Practice properly what angles we can form in the clack. So match the following is given. Here group A, group B. In the group A is given acute angle, right angle, third one is obtuse angle. The next one reflex angle. Next one is straight angle. Next, here we give a name A, B, C, D, and E. 90 degrees, 270 degrees, 45 degrees. 180 degrees, 150 degrees. So, acute angle is what is? The less than 90 degrees acute angle. So, C. First one is C. Right angle exactly 90 degrees. So, that is A. So, obtuse angle more than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees here. That is E. Reflex angle. Reflex angle more than 180 degrees. Here it is B. The next one, the straight angle is given 180 degrees. That is D. So, with this we have completed exercise number 5.2 of measures of lines and angles 6th class chapter. So in our next exercise, in our next video, uh, I will explain you the next exercise 5.3. Till that time practice this 